Now, the first thing that you might be thinking when you see this drone is, why does it look so different? That's the first thought of a lot of people when they first see the Ascent Aerosystem Spirit drone. It's because Ascent Aerosystem says this coaxial design that's kind of similar to helicopters is more efficient and has better payload capacity than many multi-rotor drones. And it's all in a compact package. You can take off in ways that you simply can't with a traditional multi-rotor drone. And what's great about that is with the top-mounted camera payload, you can inspect with the view all the way up. And for batteries, they are 12S lithium ion batteries and you can use one or two. And in terms of flight time with a single battery, you do get up to 38 minutes without a payload, but since you probably will be flying with one, you do get 16 minutes with the max payload. With two batteries, it does go up to 53 minutes with no payload and 32 minutes with the max payload. And one of the most impressive things about this drone is how it handles the weather. It can handle anywhere between 39 and 46 mile per hour winds. That's as strong as a low end tropical storm. But in terms of how fast this drone can fly, it can go 65 miles per hour in manual mode, but Ascent Aerosystem CEO Peter Fuchs says he's gotten the drone over 80 miles per hour. And with the IP56 rating, this drone can handle rain, snow, and dust. So that means you can be up in the air flying while other drones are grounded. It also does well in extreme temperatures, handling between negative 40 and 130 degrees Fahrenheit. As for the controls, you'll be using this 1920 by 1080 touchscreen controller. It is an Android based controller, but you can get alternative options like Windows and iOS. And another reason why there's so much interest in this drone is because it is blue UAS listed. So all the parts and components are designed and made in the US. So for search and rescue operations, you don't have to wait for the rain or wind to die down before you try to find that person. And the same goes for critical inspections or agencies needing perimeter security. Let's take a look in the box. All right, so opening up the case, we can see it's a pretty large case. We're just gonna push each of these buttons to open it up. And inside, we're going to start out by taking out the controller, this right here. So we're gonna put that aside. And now we're going to start out with the base. So here we have the camera. We have a thermal camera set up here. And each of these notches, you'll just put the landing legs in. And in order to put the landing legs in, you're just going to place them in like that, push that down with your thumb. And next we're going to place the battery in and we just wanna make sure that these connections line up. And then to turn it, place it on, we're just gonna twist this. And then we're going to take the main unit itself and we're gonna do the same thing, line up the connections. Finally, we're just going to place the GPS unit on top. Now in terms of weight, it does feel very sturdy. Also inside the case, we do get a charger as well. So that's this right here. So that would just plug right into the battery. And we also do have a few other landing legs as well. And also stay tuned, we will have a first flight video with this drone as well. So if you wanna find out more about this drone, click the link in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.